Good morning everyone. Myself, Dr. K. Murali Kumar, Associate Professor, Department of Tribuli. Now I'll, de I'll give brief description about uh, superposition theorem with example. So coming to introduction, superposition theorem for DC circuits. Superposition theorem can be used to find current and voltage in a circuit having a number of voltage and current sources. In this post, you will learn the superposition theorem statement for DC circuits with the solved example. Superposition theorem statement. Superposition theorem states that in any linear complex network having several sources, the response on a particular element can be determined as the algebraic sum of the responses caused by the individual sources acting alone, while the other sources are non-operative. Here, the term response refers to the current or voltage of the element, not the power. While considering the effect of individual sources, other sources must be non-operative, such that they are replaced by the internal resistance. If the sources are ideal, they are replaced by a short circuit or open circuit for voltage sources and current source respectively. And if the sources are non-ideal, they are replaced by their internal resistance. Coming to step by step procedure to solve superposition theorem. First step, identify the elements in which the current or voltage is to be found and mark it as a load resistor or L. Coming to second, second step, select any one source and replace the other sources by a short circuit or open circuit or leaving behind its internal resistance. Coming to third step, calculate current or voltage across RL that is load resistance due to the one source. Repeat second and third steps for all the sources and find the current or voltage across low resistance RL caused by the individual sources acting alone. Coming to last step, to find the total current flows through the load resistor, perform algebraic sum of individual currents considering their direction of flow to the load resistor. So coming to superposition theorem solved example for DC circuit. This is the circuit we have considered. Consider the given circuit and find the current through 2 ohm resistor using superposition theorem. So in this circuit, we need to find current through current through 2 ohm resistor. Current through 2 ohm resistor. So coming to first step. Coming to first step. At first step, find the current through 2 ohm resistor with 48 volt source acting and alone. Uh, hence, replace the 24 volt source by a short circuit. In this circuit, so see, see here, this one. This one we have shorted 24 volt, uh, 24 volt source. So now 48 volt source is applied and uh, 24 volt source is short circuited. Here, to find the current through 2 ohm resistor in this particular resistor. So that is, we, uh, let us assume I2 current. Current through 4 ohm resistor is I1. Current through 8 ohm resistor is I3. The current through 2 ohm resistor is I2. Now we need to find I2. To find the load current, find the total current supplied by the source I1 with its total resistance. So then apply current division rule and find the current through 2 ohm resistor with the 48 volt source acting alone calculations for this step as follows. So see here, first we need to find R equivalent total resistance in the circuit. Here 2 ohm resistor, 2 ohm resistor and 8 ohm resistor. These two resistors are in parallel and then total resistance is in series with the 4 ohm resistor. So the total R equivalent is equal to 4 plus 8 into 2 by 8 plus 2. So the total resistance is 5.6 ohm resistor. Now we need to find total current. Total current we know the uh, equation I equal to V by R. V is 48 volts and R, R is nothing but total resistance 5.6 ohm. So the total current is 5.8.57 amps. Now we need to find current through 2 ohm resistor. Current through 2 ohm resistor by using current division rule. Total current in this particular circuit. The total current is 8.57. 8.57. 8.57 to opposite resistance of the 2 ohm resistor. So what is the opposite resistor? Which resistor is parallel with the 2 ohm resistor? That resistor is called opposite resistor. So 8 by 8 plus 2. The total current through the 2 ohm resistor with 48 volts is 
6.86 amperes so the current supplied by the 48 volt source 48 volt source is 6.86 amperes similarly we need to solve current through a 2 ohm resistor with 24 volt source so similarly r equivalent r equivalent to find r equivalent here 4 ohm resistor and 2 ohm resistor these two are in parallel and then total resistance is in series with the 8 ohm resistor so total resistance is 9.33 ohm ohms now the total current is v by r v is 24 and uh, r is 9.33 V is 24 and R is 9.33. The total current is 2.57 amps. Now we need to find current through 2 ohm resistor with 24 volts source equal to total current. Total current is this one 2.57 into opposite resistance of the 2 ohm resistor. What is the opposite resistance? What is the parallel resistor? Which one is parallel to 2 ohm resistor? That resistor is called opposite resistor. So, 4 ohm is the opposite resistor. Opposite resistor by total resistance. 4 plus 2. So, now the total current through 2 ohm resistor is 1.71 amps. So, current supplied by the 24 volt source is 1.71 amperes. Now, coming to last step. Finally, add the two currents, consider their direction. Here, here, the two currents are following into, flowing into the 2 ohm resistor with the same direction. So, the total current flowing through the 2 ohm resistor will be the algebraic sum of I2 ohm 48 volts and I2 ohms 24 volts. So, now, so see here, now in this circuit, both the sources are active, 48 volt source and 24 volt source. With 48 volt source, the current is 6.86 amps with 24 volts the current is 1.71 amps now the current through the 2 ohm resistor with both the sources the total current we have to add these two that means this one so finally the current through 2 ohm resistor is i2 ohm with 48 volt source i2 ohm with 24 volt source we can add these two the total current is 8.8 57 amperes finally the current through the 2 ohm resistor is 8.57 amperes so based on the statement we have to find current through 2 ohm resistor nothing but low resistor the total current is 5 8.57 amperes thank you